are free to make godly choices. Colossians chapter 2, verses 16 and 17. So let no one judge you in food or in drink, or regarding a festival or a new moon or Sabbaths, which are a shadow of things to come, but the substance is of Christ. In Colossians 2, Paul is addressing believers and encouraging us or instructing us by the Lord to stay free from coming under uh, uh, the rules and the regulations that man may seek to impose on us. So he says, you know, don't let anybody judge you or tell you what to eat and what to drink and uh, observing which festival and what, you know, the times of the moons and uh, Sabbaths and so on. He says, you know, these are only a shadow. These are not real, these are not real things. There is a shadow, but the reality is in Jesus Christ. Now you and I as believers in Christ have the reality. So why should we now bring ourselves in subjection to what is a shadow, what is of, of no value? It, it doesn't add any benefit. And so the point here is this, that as believers, we are free to make godly choices. So in the food you eat, in what you drink, in how you spend your time, and what would be important to you, you're not in subjection to all of these ideas that man has. You, you have the reality, you have Jesus Christ, and out of Christ, now we make godly choices, and our one desire is to please Jesus Christ. Our one goal is to be like Him. Our one goal is to be free to worship Him, to worship the Father, and to do the will of God for our lives. We don't want to come in subjection to all of these man-made rules and regulations as though they were going to add any value to us. So I want you to know that Jesus Christ has set you free to make godly choices in your life. You make the choices knowing that your goal is to please Jesus Christ and to be like Him and to do His will for your life. Let's pray. Lord, we thank You that You've set us free to obey You. you set us free to follow Your plan, Your purpose. Help us to make godly choices, to use our freedom, to make godly choices with one reason, one goal, one objective, to please Your heart. Thank you for empowering us to do this. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.